Hello, in this lecture we're going to talk about the Learn Smart homework assignments within McGraw-Hills Connect. McGraw-Hills Connect being this software up here, McGraw-Hill the publisher, Connect being the software by McGraw-Hill. We're going to be looking at these type of assignments with the LS, those stand for Learn Smart type of homework assignments, as opposed to something that looks like this, which is a works pad, it's going to be a different type of assignment, and of course something that looks like this will be the type of quiz of assignments. Now, the Learn Smarts, first thing I want to point out is that the Learn Smart is not the ebook. The ebook is over here. If you want to look and just read through the book, I highly recommend using the ebook to do that. It's got great features for highlighting, and you can take notes on it and jump back and forth to different areas and search for things. So, take a look at how to use the ebook video in order to get the best use of that. Now, having said that, there are areas within the Learn Smarts where you can read parts of the book. But the point of it is to basically read the part of the book that relates specifically to that question that you're trying to answer. And we'll talk more about that as we take a look at this assignment. So let's take a look. Once Learn Smart has opened, notice it opens in a separate window here. And it might go to different areas. I'm going to open this hamburger up here. It's called a ha the menu hamburger thing. And I'm going to go to the table of contents. Oftentimes it might open up with this closed and in the table of contents like this. If that's the case, then what you want to do is open this up and you have the table of contents ready and then go to the assignment that you're working on it's showing you how much is being complete at this point i'm going to just click on this assignment this is the one we want to look at and then it will jump to the actual questions this is what actually needs to be done so if it opens to the reading or if it opens to some other location in terms of reports or the help menu then what you want to do is get to the area where it actually has the questions at some point that's what needs to be done now in this case we've already done one there was 15 we're now down to 14 when that number gets down to zero, that means that we have correctly done 14 problems or 15 problems with what it started at. And that's when the assignment is done. So we got to complete those 15 problems. And the way to do that is if we get the question right, what will happen is that 14 right here, it'll go down to 13. If we get the question wrong, there's really no uh, penalty. So if I just get the question wrong, there it is wrong. Notice what happens. This 14 doesn't go away. It stays at 14. But it doesn't penalize anything. All that's going to happen is the question is going to come back around again and we'll get another chance at it or a similar type of question. This one, we're going to do the second one. We're going to say try to get it right. We're going to look at that 14 right there. We're going to say, I know this one. We got this one right. And then once we said, OK, you want to see that 14 should go down to 13 like that. So now it went down to 13. Once that's down to zero, that means we should have full credits on the Learn Smart exercises. Now, note that you can keep going through these after you have uh, completed the 15 and got 15 correct. However, you may, and I do recommend doing that. However, you only have to do the 15 in order to get full credit. Now, these are going to be great for test question preparation because they're small choice answers, which are similar to multiple choice type questions. Therefore, they really are good practice to uh, go through in order to practice for the quiz. Next feature to note is that you have this read button here and you have the read about this here. Now this is going to jump to a similar feature as the ebook, meaning it's going to go to like the text. It's not the ebook, but it's going to go to the text in a similar fashion. And the reason you have this button is it's going to try to highlight what relates to this particular question. Now it's not going to be perfect. It's not like the answer is going to be right there, but or it might sometimes, but it might not all the time be right there. But it'll go to the place in the book and even highlight that place in the book that should give you a good idea of the answer, how to find that answer. So you can read through that and then you hit this one or back to the practice here and that will take you back and then you can select the correct answer and move forward there. You also have some other features you can take a look at here. Just remember that as you go through these features, the main thing you need to do is these 15 questions in order to get the assignment correct. Once you leave this assignment and you go back into it, the database program should save where you are. So we're at 13 here. If I left and I went back in, so for example, we went to the book and came back in. If I go to the table of contents here and then we go back into it, it should go back to where we left off at that 13. And so it should save your work as you go.